You guys may have followed when we replastered our pool last summer and we are still working on getting it back to blue after that. Um, after you replaster and resurface a pool, um, it really does change the chemi chemistry quite a bit. We couldn't put salt in it for a while. We couldn't put other chemicals in it for a while after that. And then the winter came and we kind of let it get green, which we shouldn't have done, but we did do it. And now we're working back to recalibrating everything because the spring is upcoming and of course the summer. Um, but I wanted to talk to you all today about the cleaners that we use and have used over time in our pool. Of course, when we bought this house, we didn't know anything about pools whatsoever. And so my husband did a ton of research and what he ended up coming with, up with as a solution for how to vacuum all the dirt and things out of the pool was this thing you'll see to, um, to the left of me in your image, um, which is called a Polaris. Um, there's two main uh, ideas of cleaners on the market and they're both sitting here in front of me. Of course, there's some odd different options, but these are probably the two most popular, at least in our area. You have the Polaris here and this is the Dolphin. I'll talk about this one in just a minute. But the Polaris is the one that my husband decided would be the best for us. Um, it comes with a ton of different replaceable parts. It's very easy to access parts for it. And so um, he thought that was the best for us. Should something break, it was easy to fix. Um, the way it functions is it hooks up to the jet. It pushes air through the jet and down the line which um, pushes the dirt as it rolls around up into um, this net here. Um, it was fine for us for a long time. What we didn't like about it is that it's very random. It's almost like the first generation Roomba, if you're familiar with those uh, robot vacuums, is very random and it doesn't always hit all the spots. You don't always know that every time it's gonna get it clean. Um, and so we were always left with um, some things in the pool and especially the fine dirt that settles at the bottom of our pool. We have big oak trees and things like that. So we have very, um, you know, specific needs for a cleaner over others. Um, but it just wasn't fully doing the job that we really wanted. And so um, in the last year or so, he's done more research and looked into the other option, which is dolphin. Now we always knew that the dolphin existed. What made me nervous about the dolphin is that it is hooked up to power. You have to plug it into the wall as opposed to the Polaris, which has no plugs and it, it can live in the pool. The, the uh, dolphin can live in the pool, but it's not a great idea. It plugs in, like I said, and um, it can, uh, get, the sunlight can, and the UV can mess up, you know, the box overall and the, the wires and things like that. So we don't love for this to live in the pool. It comes with this uh, rolling cart. And so Every time we use it, we put it in, pull it out, and then put it away. So back to the research. My husband did a ton of research. Like I said, it's a very different cleaner. It also scrubs the walls, which is really important for a gunite pool or a plaster pool. Um, and you can see here, this is the little roller on the front that scrubs all the walls as it pushes itself around. The Polaris does not have any kind of scrubbing action. It is purely just to pull up the leaves in almost like a vacuum system. So this one has the addition of a scrubber. It also has a basket inside that does um, allow for some leaf pickup. You can see it here, if I can pull it out. You can see it has a basket and that will hold the leaves as well. Um, and it's about the same size uh, hold, you know, it holds about the same size as the Polaris. It just has a little more function. Um, now, this is a more basic Polaris and this is a more advanced dolphin. So um, it's, it's not really fair to compare the two products because um, they're not apples to apples, certainly. But I did want to show you that we were going to move on to this dolphin um, and what we love so much about it. This is so much more technologically um, advanced than this Polaris. Like I said, this is a real basic Polaris. This one is a Wi-Fi enabled. Um, I've got an app on my phone that um, I can turn it on even if I was away. If we were gone for a week on vacation and we did want to leave it in the pool just for that week, we know that we could turn it on and off from wherever we were on vacation and it could still clean the pool and we would come back to a clean pool when we got back. So it has that. Um, like I said, let me go back um, to the electrical plug-in. That is what made me nervous initially about this, but it, as it turns out, it plugs into a regular um, 110 outlet, no big deal, but it does step down the voltage. I think that they said that the voltage um, in the machine is only 22 volts, which basically means if it were to break open in some way and crack and open up the wire, it's not gonna kill you, right? It'll give you a little shock, but it's not gonna kill you. So it's not as dangerous as it seems to have like this electrical plugged into water, which seems really like backward, right? Um, so anyway, um, 
the, the thing the thing that we really love about this one the most is the fact that it does scrub and this one doesn't it, it picks up much finer dirt than this one does and the technology advances that this one has over this one so overall we've been really happy with moving forward to the dolphin over this um, the old Polaris um, so if you're in the market for something like this just like there's with the Polaris or Roomba or any other thing there's a ton of different options available you really have to figure out which one is the best for you the Wi-Fi capabilities are a little more advanced I believe and I believe this one also has basically like sonar technology where it maps out the pool so it's not as random this one is random right remember it didn't pick up everything everywhere because it doesn't know where it's been this one knows where it's been and can track it and map it so it's very smart um, it makes sure it gets every nook and cranny and gets all the dirt up so that we can have truly um, as maintenance free of a pool as we possibly can because we have a lot of stuff, other stuff going on so if we can have something that's doing the job for us while we're getting other projects done we're here for it